It's TLD day 14. Uh, this is your math lesson. Make sure you get your uh, two pages for your math uh, work to do. I'm going to walk you through everything. Um, let's look. We're starting off with word problems like we have the last few days, okay? So here's our word problem. Let's go ahead. You know I'm going to ask you to do your start, change, result strategy. S for start, C for change, R for result. Ready? James built a castle with blocks. He added a tower with 24 blocks. James used 60 blocks to build his castle and tower. How many blocks did James use to build the castle? All right, so let's look at the first sentence. James built a castle with blocks. Does that tell us how many blocks he started out with? Mm -mm. So let's put our question mark. All right, look at the second sentence. He added a tower of 24 blocks. So what did that change by? Right, 24. James used 60 blocks to build his castle and tower. So for all of it together, he used 60 blocks. So let's put our equal sign. Now guys, it told you what to put for your either addition or subtraction. Look. He added. It told you. So let's go ahead and put our plus sign. All right, let's two, use our two-finger strategy. Put your fingers on both sides of that plus sign. Can I add? No. I don't have a number on both sides of my plus sign. All right? So I've got to write. What's the opposite of add? Subtract. So I've got to write a subtraction problem over here. Now, when I subtract, right now in, in second grade, I'm always going to put the what number on top? The big number, right. So 60 is our big number, so let's do 60, subtract 24. Ooh, my board's being funny. All right, let's look, we're starting on one time. I hope you're not thinking four. I hope you're not thinking four. I have zero. I'm going to subtract four. So if I'm if I have zero, am I going to subtract four? No. I'm going to go and borrow a ten. I'm going to go get a ten. So I have six tens. If I borrow one, how many do I have? That's right, five. So I don't have six tens. I have five. So now I've got this ten hanging out. I've got ten. He's moving in with the zero. Ten. Move in with a zero. All right. Now you know what to do. Ten subtract four. Five subtract two. Go ahead. All right. Ten subtract four. Five subtract two. I hope you did it on your own. So how many blocks did James use to build the castle? 36. 36 what? Blocks. 36 blocks. You have to label your answer. And I'm only asking for one word right now. Here at school, we would do a whole sentence. But right now, just a word. I'm going to erase and we're going to go down to the next one. All right. Okay, go ahead. We're going to use start, change, result. Put your start, your change, your result. Okay. I'm going to read it. Marcy got some notes from her friends. She got 16 notes from her family. She received a total of 56 notes. How many notes did she receive from her friends? All right, let's take it step by step. Look at the first sentence. Marcy got some notes from her friends. So does that tell me how many we started with? Uh-uh. Put your question mark. All right. She got 16 notes from her family. What did that change by? Right, 16. She received a total at the end of the story, at the end, 
she had how many? Right, 56. 56 is your total, your result. Go ahead and put your equal sign. So let's think. Look, Marcy had some notes, and then she got 16 notes from her family. Did we add or subtract? She had some, she got 16. That's right, she added. Now get your two fingers, put them on both sides of that plus sign. Is there a number on both sides of my plus sign? No. So can I add? No, I've got to do the opposite. What's the opposite of add? Subtract. So when we're writing a subtraction problem in second grade, we put the what number on top? The big number, right? So 1656, who's bigger? Right, 56. 56, subtract 16. All right, I think you can handle it. Six subtract six and five minus four. You do it. I hope you got 40. 40 what? What, what? what does Marcy have? How many notes did she receive from her friends? How many what? Notes. So you've got 40 notes. You gotta, you gotta label your answer, okay? Alright, let's go to the bottom. Let me check and see if there's any hard ones, although I think you all can pretty much handle them. Let's do this first one. And I think you all can do the, the last three on your own, okay? So make sure you get your number line. We're going to start in this ones column. What is 7 plus 6? You do it on your number line, 7 plus 6. I hope you got 13, so put your 3 down. Regroup your 10 underneath. Then you're going to do that tens column. 8, pop 3. Pop one. You do it. I hope you got 12. So I gotta put my two down, regroup my 10 underneath. Now I've got to do five plus eight plus one. Start at five on your number line, pop eight, pop one more. start it back up or you can save them till the end. It's up to you. Okay, when you're ready, get your next sheet. Now, this tells us measuring objects. It says circle the unit that would be the best tool to measure at each object. So, it they give us a choice of an inch, a foot, or a yard. Now, guys, yesterday you used your little ruler to measure inches. And if you look, Miss Key is going to put that up under there, and I'll show you. It's hard to tell on a video. But right here is one inch, okay? Right there is one inch. One inch is about that size of your um, thumb, okay? So if you're going to measure something in inches, you're going to, it's going to be this small. That's one inch. And then your next choice is a foot. Now, a, one, a big ruler like this is one foot long. It has 12 inches on it. So this is a ruler, a foot. Okay, this is a foot. And then your last choice is a yard. This is a yardstick. Look here, it has three, make sure I'm in the thing, it has three feet in it. Two, three. So we have three choices. Are we 
we're going to use a little bitty inch to measure this object, a foot or a yard. Okay? So let's look at our first one. It says the length of scissors. So think of some scissors that you would use. Would you take a little inch and measure those scissors? Could you put the scissors on your ruler and measure them? Or would you use this big yardstick to measure them? Okay. In my thought, I would think I would take a, a foot and put that on here. But are my scissors going to be longer than this? No, it's not. So that's probably not the best. Could I measure my scissors in inches? Yeah. My scissors are probably going to be, your all scissors are probably going to be about this long. My big scissors may be this long. Okay? So I would measure, I would measure the length of my scissors in inches. Okay? That one was a hard one to start off on because honestly, if I was going to go measure how long my scissors are, I would pick this up. But are my scissors going to be longer than this? No. So I'm going to measure it in little bitty inches. All right? So let's look at the next one, the length of a soccer field. Have you all played soccer on a soccer field? Are you going to measure the soccer field with a little bitty inch? What about this? Would you like to put this down on that soccer field and measure it in feet? Oh, no, no, no. What about this? Would you rather use this to measure the soccer field? I think so. Probably in yards. So let's circle yards. All right. Okay. The next one, the length of a pencil. Well, here's a pencil. Is it going to be inches long? Is a pencil going to be a foot long? Mm -hmm. Is a pencil going to be, oops, a yard long? No. So am I going to me measure a pencil in inches, feet, or a yard? You circle. Inch, foot.
easily, I, I think it's easier to stick that up there. You wouldn't have to move it as many times. All right, the length of a crayon. Well, are you going to measure the crayon in little inches? Are you going to measure it in feet or yards? Are you going to have a crayon this big? Are you going to have crayon this big? Or are you going to measure it in little inches? I hope y'all got that one. Inches. All right. Number seven. The length of the cafeteria. Okay. Think of the cafeteria that we eat in. Are you going to go measuring that cafeteria in little inches like with our little ruler? Are you going to measure in feet? Or would you rather measure in yards? Definitely this. Could you imagine going around the cafeteria with this? This would be a whole lot easier, wouldn't it? So yards. All right. The length of your shoe. So look your foot. Are you going to measure your foot in little inches? Or foot and feet. Now guys, do you have a foot? Is your foot this big? I hope not. Is your foot this big? Is your foot a yard long? No, your foot is several inches long, isn't it? All right, the length of a paper. So look, would you measure this paper in inches? Would you measure it in feet? It, it's not even a foot long, is it? And I don't think, you definitely aren't going to use this, are you? So if you're going to measure paper, it's going to be measured in little inches. All right. The height of the door. Okay, look at the door in your, wherever you are, look at the door. Are you going to go measure it in little bitty inches? Could you measure it in feet? And I'd say when people build their house, they're probably going to say, oh, it's six feet high, or it's seven feet high, or it's eight feet high. Or you can measure it in yards. So honestly, if, if you had to go measure the doorway, it'd probably be easier to use this, right? But when people who are building, they'll use the word feet. Or foot. So, whichever way you think about it, it, either answer is reasonable. Okay? So, you can use feet or you can measure it in yard. Either one. Okay? Foot or yard. Okay? The height of the room. So, look at the room that you're sitting in from the floor to the ceiling. Would you measure it in little bitty inches? Would you measure it in feet or would you measure it in yards? Now again, I'm not going to sit here and go inches from the floor to the ceiling. But when somebody who's building, they would, t they would say it is eight feet from the floor to the ceiling. But if, you, if I told you to go measure from there, you would probably use a yardstick. So again, guys, when we talk about it, we usually say feet. But if I ask you to go do it, this would be easier to use. So again, both are reasonable answers. All right? So you can do feet or yard. All right? And then number 12, the length of a computer screen. So look at your, uh, think of the computer screen we have in my, in my room all lined up. And think, would I measure it in inches? Feet? Am I going to have a computer screen that's two of these? Probably not. It's a computer. This, is, this would be a huge computer screen, wouldn't it? So, honestly, you, I mean, I would say probably inches. That when, when you go buy a computer screen, it's going to tell you how many inches wide it is. Okay? So, inches. All right? So, is that is number 12 the last one? All right. So, there you go, guys. Guys, it's just, there's no exact answers to some of those. So it's just what, what would be easier to use 
but you need to know that an inch is about this long, you know, right there. A foot is this long, 12 inches. And a yard is this long. A yard has one, two, three feet in it, okay? So you just need to know those things. A yard is the longest, then they're a foot, and then an inch is little, okay? All right, guys, I hope you got all of it done. Go back and do those few problems if you didn't do them. I miss you. Love you. Bye.